Hello there everyone, I'm Crazy Caleb, and today we are taking a look at one of the most chaotic modules ever on the diffuser side, multitask. So, when this module activates, and this is also referred to as a pseudo-needy, a pseudo-needy is essentially a needy that can be solvable. Um, examples like that could be the swan um, and, and the very annoying button. So, once this module activates, one of four um, small hatches will open, and it will give a tiny uh, needy module, essentially. There are four different types of needy modules, each within their respective positions. They won't change on you or anything, so once you get used to this, you'll get used to this. This module does require a lot of practice and just being able to manage everything at the same time. Because at, there is, when solving it, it is at its most chaotic state for 70 seconds and at an increased difficulty for each of these. However, so for the most part, each module will be active for 20 to 50 seconds, and there can potentially be loopovers as more modules act are solved. So let's start solving some modules. And let's see here, egg is on a zero. Just to get this module activated. I can show you each of what these four components are. Let's give it a couple minutes. I think it takes at least like two minutes to activate, or maybe sooner. Here we go. So our first one in the bottom right is the signal jammer. So now what we need to do is, once some little blocks start falling from here, we need to make sure that this line matches the exact same color before it reaches it. Just like that, the it was on first. Our next one here is the pressure god. So what we need to do is we need to keep this little little needle, needle um, from pointing um, from entering the red zone at the bottom, that red line down there. So it's just to keep um, it's just holding down the plus and the minus, just making sure that it doesn't enter. So as you can see already, this will get pretty chaotic once you're dealing with other modules by itself. So, um, it was zero, so even. So let's keep solving other modules, because as it says here, as more modules are solved, more modules will be activated simultaneously. Now, we're dealing with the avoidance needy module. So once these arrows are coming close into this white little speck right here, or this little vertical line, you need to avoid those red arrows, because those are trying to shoot you down, essentially. So, Always find a spot that doesn't have any, or as it gets more chaotic, one that is pretty far from you, actually. And just like that, it's solved. So just paying attention for that little radio static will let you know when um, a new module has been added to this multitasking model. It makes itself very obvious. And like I said, the needy times are and the needy times can range between 20 to 50 seconds. So, just keeping your eyes on this is really the most difficult. And now we're dealing with avoidance as well. As I've solved more modules, there will be more activating um, simultaneously one another. So, we're getting lucky enough and not having much problems with avoidance. So, we're just able to keep our eyes on the pressure dodge. Just like that, it's solved. So, that's a little vertical line, you just gotta make sure that you're not within the, the um, area that those arrows are about to hit. And we should be good, for the most part. Um, let's get to word search. So, we had even, so uniform, in boom. And we're dealing with the traffic controller. We still have yet to see from the bottom left part. So it's strange. I've had this happen before where it's just the other example does not happen. So. That's taken care of. But you're still going. The pressure gauge is just enabled. <laughs> so just making sure that you keep um, it up pretty high and away from the red zones is higher than 60 degrees. This one, I would say, isn't the biggest worry, unless it's at the last stage, 
everything's a big worry, of course. But just um, holding it down is just the easy part. It doesn't take too much work. And now we're at the selection. But what this does is cells with 5x5 five five grids, um, cells in the 5x5 five five grid, activate randomly. And they must be tapped while avoiding the inactive cells within 12 seconds. As the seconds go on, it will go into a dark state, yellow, sort of orange, and then to a red state. Just like that. So now, once I get past 75% of the modules, once they are solved, that will be solved. Uh, all four modules will activate for the 70 seconds. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna need to focus on that. It's a tough task. When deal even dealing with two at a time is pretty difficult. But four, all four of them, all at once, is going to require a lot of effort from me. So I'm sorry if I won't talk that much during that time, but this is a heads up because it is pure and utter chaos. So let's, um, let's finish up these, this bomb so I can actually get to that final stage. Um, this. Make sure that you see it. Okay. Uh, last digit, the second digit is a zero. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boy, P, so four. Barely caught that one. Four plus four. Um, and Charlie, so seven. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, that's good. Dealing with the pressure god again. And as you can see, it is getting increasingly more difficult as more modules are showing up uh, more frequently, quite frankly. So. And, have you, and if you've also noticed that this signal jammer, the blocks are falling a lot faster. So just keeping your eyes on everything is, is especially difficult on its own. It requires a lot of dedication and focus from the diffuser, which makes any bomb with this on extremely difficult to do. As you can see here, I'm even struggling with this Minesweeper, it's, it's, it's really difficult for me to do um, while managing everything here. Um, now I'm dealing with the selection grid as well, perfect. Alright, we should be good for now. Um, Along with the spine sweeper, the faster I solve this, the better. Now doing the pressure gauge again. Hey, gauge, whatever. Um, the needle is indeed getting faster. Everything in this module gets faster as time goes on. It does not get any easier. I will admit, it does not get any easier. So. Um, I believe after this module is solved, it should go into its final state. Why? Oh, I looked away for a second. But as you can see, it gives you a strike and then it goes away. However, in the final phase, it does not do that. It does not give you a strike and it goes away. It will continuously give you strikes and it continuously give you stuff. That's how cruel this module is. And now, as you can see, we are ready for our final phase. Everything went away after 75% of, of them were solved. So, let's get this thing going. So, all of them now have popped up. So, excuse me, but I'm going to have to focus on this, as it is pure and utter chaos. No, 
Oh man, afraid. I missed it, missed, missed it. See, as, as you can see here, it does not stop. I'm afraid. Seems just like that, it's really difficult. I admit I have gotten a flawless one before, but I was very lucky with everything. I clicked it too early. And just like that, everything solved. No more of that, ever. So, let's finally solve this module, let's finally solve this bomb, so we can be done with this. Space, um, die, um, die, die. Space. Space. Um, die. And space. And just like that is the chaos of the chaos. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm sorry I struck on it so much, but as you can see, that clearly shows the difficulty of this module. I hope you guys understand that, because quite frankly, it's a it's it can ruin bombs. It really can destroy you. But don't fret. Just, it definitely requires a lot of practice. As always, stay crazy, stay cool, and I will see you guys later. Bye bye